and they sprinting your way. Got away to a fair start. How will they play this country time? One of the first to break. Palo Queen shows a lot of pace. Different face goes up handy. And Candy Town also committing. So Candy Town finds her way to the lead. She worked hard, but she shot away by two and a half to three. Different face at the head of the others is second. Palo Queen will drop into third. Mulberry Street and the pink is at the outside. Country time, silver screen. They together. The top of the straight. Savage is next best. Then comes Priceless. She's won from last with musical arts at the rear. Candy Town in front of the 500 metres marked by about three lengths of a different face in second. Palo Queen, Farsad, Mulberry Street got five to make up. Country Time, Silver Screen, they further back, but Candy Town in charge. 200 metres out, she's got a commanding full length lead over Palo Queen, different face, then comes Mulberry Street, but Candy Town has simply run them into the ground. Candy Town the winner. Second, Palo Queen, different face ran third, and fourth is a photo between the, on the far side country time and silver screen she just ran them into the ground did candy town she took no prisoners from a deep draw she committed and she's shown a different type of ability today it's one thing to to win a maiden obviously to step forward into class four it's not like you're running in the uh, cape Phillies guineas not yet anyway but the way that she's done it in different style today and that impressively i think she could pay to follow Race eight, world sports betting leaders in fixed odd class, uh, was a class four for the Phillies and Mays. And uh, number 10, Candy Town, the daughter of Karari, was the winner. Mzizile um, Ndweni, he receives the thousand rand thanks to Hollywood Bets and uh, also Cape Racing. Candy Town was trained by Andre Nell. Andre, well done. Thank you very much. I know last time we stood you speaking about the same filly, you said, you know, she is quite overzealous in a, in a race against her, but a very impressive one. Yeah, it's a real mixed feelings type race. I, I love winning while that far, and I love winning, but I still don't like her staring away. But at least she's talented, so she can, can someone get away with it. Um, she, she is fooling us a little bit because we, we thought, wow, we settled her nicely and work. We'll be fine today. Um, but as soon as the gate opened, it was, it was different. It was back, back to where we are. So, um, but I say at least she's talented, so we can get away with a few things. Um, uh, but we've still got some work to do. And I think, you know, not, not needing to sort of relive re the last interview, but you said the mother was very similar, so she carries those same sort of aspects. Yeah, very similar. Um, this one might be as talented, if not slightly better than the mother. Um, so we'll have to see where we go, although we, we might just have to stick to sprints the way she is at the moment. Um, but yeah, well done to my team, well done to Cornet, to Ms. Platner, to La Plaisance. Um, uh, still, uh, hopefully only the beginning of her journey, because um, there's still some work to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, all the best. Well done. Thank you. There you go. Well done to Andre Nell. And uh, as he mentioned, it is a bit of a mixed feelings win in the way that um, trying to get it to, to settle a little bit. But uh, Corne, sh she didn't really give you a little bit of a, a gap to settle her. No. Uh, I must be honest, I didn't think she would have that much speed in a thousand. Um, you know, she won a maiden going to the front and she, she, she was traveling quite hard and still won a good race. So... I'm glad that Andre decided to run her in a thousand her, her next start, and uh, I was I said to my I'm glad that I'm drawn wide because if I if I'm drawn one or two and I get a miss or something and then you know she probably pull or whatever so she jumped out smartly today and uh, within a few shots she was there and she was she was comfortable she wasn't actually trying to run away with me it just it might look like it but uh, she was comfortable under me and she gave me a really nice kick in the straight so yeah I think I think she's decent. Corne, you mentioned last time out that she's also, you know, when you get on her, she wants to just get on with things. But I thought going down to the start, she was a lot more relaxed today. Vicky, from her last run, um, she, every single day I've been on her, she's been set, she's settling. She's she's now you can do some pace work. Before it was canter and, and sprint, you know. Now now she does proper pace work. She You can pick her up nicely. And uh, she's, like you saw, go down to the start. She's now tucking her head in nicely. So we'll just leave her like it is now. And she's winning races like this. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually, hopefully, she does settle because she's got a really big, beautiful action. So anyway, take advantage of it right now. I think the, the most exciting thing about being a jockey is sitting on really good horses. Is she the type of filly that, that excites you? She does. Uh, I said to Andre that she, she's a filly that gives you a very good feel, but she needs to come down and settle a little bit. You know, she'll give you even more, but it looks like we're in the right direction with this, so we'll just take it step by step with her. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a job with Andre and Mrs. Blatner. We've got really, really nice horses at the moment, so 
Well done to the whole team and to Mrs. Platner. Thank you very much. Well done, Corne. Thank you. There you go. Uh, Corne off uh, board number 10, Candy Town. Uh, compliments regarding the, the, the filly, really. She's a beautiful powerhouse and uh, very intense and strong filly, but lovely to, to witness. Well done to La Play on Stud for, for breeding and Mrs. Platner for owning the daughter of uh, Karari, who impressed us once again here at Hollywood Vets Durbanville.